Hello, this is Michelle Knight, and here's your June Astrology. But just before I bring you that, I would like to say a big thank you to my partner, Kathy Waite, who makes these astrology videos. This is my all-time favourite film that she's done, and she says it's a love letter to me, which is amazing. So enjoy. Anyway, back to June. Jupiter, the planet of good fortune, is going direct, turning all our fortunes. Here's your monthly astrology. Pisces, glorious Pisces, June is bringing you a lot of fabulousness, which is great. I have to say, it kicks off is a bit tricky because Mars, planet of action, is square Chiron, the wounded healer in your sign. There may be some old family wounds or shadows that you have to sort out, but because it's a square with Mars, it may be that you get angry or annoyed or project stuff onto someone in your family. Um, you're feeling very bolshy about it. Um, and you know what? Unfortunately, when it comes to Chiron, we have to look within and we have to heal the wounds within ourselves. And it's an internal job. On the third, Venus, the planet of love, is joining forces with unpredictable Uranus. Something solid and interesting and possibly financial is coming your way on that day. Um, and you're feeling good. You're feeling grounded. On top of that, the sun is trying Jupiter, the planet of good fortune. There may be some shifts or changes around your family. And you're feeling much stronger in yourself. Jupiter is saying, stand in your power. With the Sun square Neptune on the 4th, again, you're feeling that you need to assert yourself when it comes to your home and your family. Maybe some work needs to be done, physical work in your home. Get on and do it. Stop putting it off. Mars is shifting signs and going into a happy place for you. You're feeling very jolly, very optimistic, and that anything is possible. If you're creative, you've got the drive, the passion, and the va 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 voom to get things done. Venus is shifting signs on the 6th and making you super flirtatious. And Mercury is also shifting signs and making you feel that you want to be assertive when it comes to your family. There's obviously a lot of family stuff at the beginning. Jupiter, the planet of good fortune, is going direct though. So he's putting you in your power you may meet powerful people that want to collaborate with you there may be a partnership there may be something coming to you unexpectedly maybe some money dropping on your doorstep that you're not expecting and you're feeling more solid thanks to jupiter going direct the full moon is giving you a peak experience when it comes to your career but it is squaring neptune in your sign don't go off track don't kind of you know if something fabulous happens trust it don't try and take it in a different direction lay solid foundations with mercury trying jupiter on the 13th something good is coming you're suddenly you found your bearings when it comes to your home you found your bearings when it comes to your power neptune is going retrograde on the 16th in your sign you might find that quite hard you have to maybe perhaps old patterns are going to come up that you're going to have to look at the universe is doing this to show you that you've changed don't sort of freak out if an old pattern or an old addiction or an old kind of soulmate pops up deal with it you can deal with it you're powerful you're strong you've done a lot of work on yourself the sun is shifting signs and making you op optimistic and creative and this fabulous sort of love energy and cheerfulness is all around you and you're feeling good about that there's also a new moon in that energy this is a brand new cycle of creativity this is a brand new cycle of soulmates and you feeling excited about life embrace that it's also conjunct mercury there's definitely some wonderful communication coming towards you okay from the 25th onwards it gets a bit more tricky mars is square jupiter you may become obsessed with someone there may be jealousy there may be kind of you just all you can do is think about love and lust 
there's worse things though isn't there let's face it but you know don't give your power away when it comes to your relationships keep your power mars is trying neptune on the 26th jolliness sexuality passion flirtation creativity if you're not in into relationships then it's you're falling in love with life and you're falling in love with something that you do and Mercury is also trying Neptune on the 28th. There's just such a sense of optimism for you this month. And hopefully you'll feel that the universe loves you because the universe does. And there's all sorts of treats and pleasures and joyful experiences coming away. Tell me all about it at the end of the month. Leave me a message. All right. Take care, gorgeous. And I'll speak to you soon. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and share if you do. And I've got a little present for you. If you go to horoscope.co.uk, I now have a, not only a free chart wheel, but free birth chart interpretation. So pop along and have a look. Take care and I'll speak to you soon. Mm -hmm.